All right, so in this problem, I have x plus x is equal to x times x. So to start off, x plus x, this is simply equal to 2x. And x times x, that's equal to x squared. So I have 2x is equal to x squared. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have 2x minus x squared is equal to x squared minus x squared. Well, x squared minus x squared, these two cancel out. So now I have 2x minus x squared is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to factor out x. So now I have x times 2x minus x squared is equal to 0. Oh, sorry, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this actually gives me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So for x equals 0, this is already a solution right here. And 2x minus 1 equals 0. All I have to do is add 1 on both sides. And I get 2x is equal to 1. So to solve this, I divide by 2 on both sides. And I get x is equal to 1 half. Now another way over here, instead of factoring out x, I can also multiply both sides by 1 over x. So now I have 1 over x times 2x minus x squared is equal to 1 over x times 0. Now, 2x times 1 over x is simply 2, and x squared times 1 over x is x. So I have 2 minus x is equal to 0. Now, if I add x, I get x is equal to 2. So this is another solution I get from this. So an even simpler way is when I have this, I get 2x is equal to x squared. Now if I divide both sides by x, I get 2 is equal to x. So that's another simple way of getting the value of 2. So that is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 4 here as 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2. 16, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now if I have something form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now if I, if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. 
So in this case, A is 1, B is negative 2, and C is negative 4. So I have X is equal to negative negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 16 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. And the square root of 20, this is the same thing as 2 root 5. So now I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides, both terms by 2, sorry, I get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So this it, these are my two answers. All right, so in this problem, I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 499 here as 500 minus 1. So now I have 500 squared minus 500 minus 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is going to be 500, and b is going to be 1. So now this is going to equal 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So I'm going to actually have to distribute the, this negative sign. So I'm going to distribute it to all my terms here. So first off, I have negative 500 squared. Then I have negative of negative, which is positive. 2 times 500 is 1,000. 1,000 times 1 is 1,000. And now I have 1 squared, which is simply 1. Now 500 squared and 500 squared, these two cancel out. And I am left with 1,000 plus 1 which is simply 1,001. So 1,000 and, oh, sorry, 1,001 is my answer.